language makes us part of society and we cannot learn language without using without talking to people and learning it without talking is really hard thing that we cannot do so in order to understand language properly and to be able to speak language swiftly and without hesitation we need to learn the tenses so i am going to focus my today's video especially on learning of simple past tense simple past tense actually describes the events the activities that happened in the past it means it shares our experiences as well of the past time it means the activity that is started in the past and finished in the past we can have a look at the definition this tense used is used to describe a complete activity that happened or started in the past and finished in the past suppose i learned my lesson yesterday i went to school yesterday i drove my car yesterday i learned to drive a bike to two years ago this shows a past experience means using the simple past to refer to the back experiences in the past life example it rained all day yesterday going to the line is what using second form of you are it rained all day yesterday i enjoy the party very much using second form of the verb the police stopped him on his way home last night these are few examples showing simple past tense we can have a look at them and try to figure out what tense do they refer to certainly they refer to past tense all the actions started in the past and finished in the past and we use simple past tense in that context how to formulate how to make simple past tense what's formula quite easy and simple to understand actually for regular verbs what are regular verbs those verbs whose second form or third form can be formulated with the addition of d or ed they are said to be regular verbs for regular verbs add ed to the root form of the verb or only e if the root verb already ends in an e quite easy to understand suppose these are sentences examples the split and second form plate means we have added ed here to show its second form and push pushed type typed already type that ends in e we have added only d actually these these were the regular words and uh, there was a simple rule that we can add d or e in our formula they are simple past and past tense but here in case of regular words especially the simple past suppose regular verb it's all the three forms look exactly the same so in my next video i will be actually uh, telling you something more about this irregular verbs and also telling you about some exercises and quizzes that will be followed so as to consolidate the use of past tense